This is News Channel 5, St. Louis's only news in high definition. And a decision is made in the Midwest's first jury trial against Merck, the maker of Vioxx. Well, a company that makes the painkiller Vioxx is not responsible for the death of a Granite City woman. That's the verdict from a jury in Edwardsville this morning, which spent the last five weeks hearing the case. News Channel 5's Kay Quinn is live outside the Madison County Courthouse with the latest. Kay? Cordell and Jennifer, jurors got the case yesterday afternoon, and they deliberated again for about a half hour this morning before finding that Merck, the company that makes Vioxx, was not responsible and did, in fact, warn consumers that taking the drug could raise the risk of heart attack and stroke. Attorneys for the widower of 52-year-old Patricia Schwaller sued Merck after she died of a heart attack in 2003. Schwaller had taken the drug for 20 months, but attorneys for Merck argued that Schwaller's diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure likely led to her death. This morning, attorneys for both sides spoke on the courthouse steps. Today, at least for the moment, Goliath has bested David. Now, let me, let me make one thing clear. We will appeal this case, and we stand unshaken in our belief that a higher court at a future date will bestow justice upon Mr. Schwaller and his family. And the jury's specific finding that, the, uh, that Merck uh, adequately warned doctors and advised doctors about issues relating to Vioxx on patients with risk factors, their finding of that was very gratifying and appropriate under the circumstances. And also, it also uh, uh, verified and validated our position that Mrs. Uh, Schwaller's health factors and not Vioxx were the cause of her tragic death. Now, Merck pulled Vioxx off the market in 2004 after research showed it did increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. There are more than 27,000 personal injury lawsuits filed against the company in connection with this drug. So far, 15 cases have been heard. As of today, Merck has won 10 of them. Reporting live from Madison County, Kate Quinn, News Channel 5.